Hi. Now in this next part of the question, we're asked to calculate the values of SPT and the values of SPP. And we're also given these summary statistics. Sigma P squared equals 1967 and Sigma PT equals 694. So if you haven't done this already, just pause the video and come back when ready and I'll run through the solution for you. Okay, welcome back. So let's just see how we do this. Well, first of all, just a very quick recap. Normally in questions, you're asked to work out things like SXY or SXX, etc. So you should be familiar with this kind of work where you've got your axes X and Y and you've got a line of best fit through your points that are scattered. And if you're trying to work out SXY, in your formula book, generally you've got this formula here that it equals sigma XY minus sigma X times sigma Y all over N. And for SXX, it's equal to sigma X squared minus sigma X all squared over N. So these are formulas that you should be familiar with. So when it comes to doing this problem, all we've got to do is just kind of match up the corresponding variables. So in place of X, okay, what we've got is P, and wherever we had a Y, it is now T. So when it comes to working out S, P, T, let's just mark this in here, SPT, then we would have, in place of sigma XY, it's going to be sigma PT, and then we're going to have sigma P times sigma T over N. So we'll just put that in, sigma P multiplied by sigma T all over N. So that's the basic formula. So all we've got to do now is just put in our values. And they gave us sigma PT over here, 694. But when it comes to sigma P and sigma T, we haven't got those values here. We need to work them out from the table. So sigma P, if we just sum the top line here, okay, add up 3, 8, 30, 25, 15, and 12, you find you get 93. And similarly, if you do sigma t, just sum up the values in the bottom row here, you're going to get 34. So when it comes to this part, we've got minus sigma p, which is 93 then, and that is multiplied by sigma t, which is 34. And we divide by n, and n is the number of values that we've got in the table. The number of pairs, if you like, okay? So we've got here six, because it just says up here, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? And when you work that out, what you should end up with is 167. Okay, well that's SPT. Next up is to work out, where is it now? Here we are, SPP nearly lost it there. Okay, so SPP. SPP is going to be equal to, well, it's just like doing SXX. We're going to have sigma P squared and then minus sigma P all squared all over N. And again, if we put our values through here, sigma P squared 1967 and then minus sigma p which we've got up here is 93 so we've got 93 all squared divided by n n being 6 and if you work this one out you end up with 525.5 all right so hope that's given you some idea then if you are struggling with that 